do you feel that the economy has affected your business in, in any way? Okay. Got a couple questions rolled together there. First of all, I'm going to challenge some of your assumptions. I believe that wine is essential. <laughs> um, secondly, in terms of the economic times and, and doing that, one of the, there aren't many advantages to being my age, but some of the advantages are I've, you know, I've lived through a previous swine flu epidemic. I've lived through um, having interest rates of 11% for home mortgages. So the things that we're faced with now doesn't mean the sky's falling. These are things that reoccur in cycles. And if you're smart and if you're careful and realize that you have some control and some choices, including virtually all of the obligations that we have, whether it's the car payment, the house payment, uh, the credit card bill, those are things that at some point in time we voluntarily accept. So being a small business person now in tough times just means that you have to seize control, you have to realize that you have choices, and you have to make good choices in these economic times. Um, that may have hit about two yeah. of your three <laughs> questions there, so if I missed part of it, you go ahead and, and re-ask me. Um, so overall, you'd say business is good, going well? Right? Business is right now, yes. Now, in the recent past, last fall, and we'll say um, July through the first half of December, was awful. Mm -hmm. It was down 30%. And when something like that happens, I try and understand what's happening. Is it that I've finally offended enough people that they don't want to come and see the, the mean bald guy, or is it something else? What I've learned and what I think happened last fall was we had the perfect storm of problems. And the problems that over my 26, almost 27 years of business, that affect business are one, national elections make the population nervous. And we had one last year. Two, the general economic times of the country were down, so that hurt. And three, Pullman and Moscow are college towns. The colleges are the economic engines of these towns. And a winery turns out to be, not totally, but in the main, a tourist business for the folks that are coming in here. So what was not my fault was that the University of Idaho and Washington State football teams had lousy seasons, <laughs> won one game between them. And so home games, which are normally very good weekends that bring people to town, did not. So it's something that most people don't realize, but when you've been around this block enough times, you realize the things that bring people to town, and that is almost always university related, are good for the business. So we had those three problems all at once last year. We got through the election, and by mid-December things came back, and the first quarter this year is actually up about 15%. So business is good right now. However, as I look ahead, one of the other things that will really affect the business climate here, and I'm, I'm not sure that the public has yet grasped this, Home and Moscow are going to be much more affected by the downturn in the Idaho and Washington economies and the budgetary constraints on the two universities because the budgets that are about to come out are the 2010 budgets and those begin July 1st, 2009. So right now, we've got lots of bad news. It's making people nervous, talking about, gee, maybe layoffs, cutting degree programs, things like that, but it hasn't happened yet, but it will. So it's good that I'm positioning myself in a conservative way. So I'm taking control, I'm minimizing my expenditures, so that when